Hello everyone, welcome to Friday Everybody's. Tom and Eddie's Hat TV episode, which I wanted to get out on Thursday, but seeing how now on Friday, I want to talk about Smosh now instead of like waiting like next week. So, Smosh, as you know, the parent company Defy Media shut down a couple of days ago, and unfortunately, due to this, like not just Smosh. But Clever and Army, basically they don't have a partner anymore. Now are they closed? Well, Smosh have said that they're looking for a new home, but they're also going to be trying their best to upload on Mondays and trying to get the videos that they filmed to get them out. I can see what they mean. It's definitely frustrating if you can't, but they're going to try their best too. Assuming at this point they're basically lost a lot of their staff because how I see it is that when Smosh basically sold um, to Defy Media, Defy Media from what it looks like gave them some staff but now because they've shut down, Defy Media took that staff away and now it's just Smosh it is. So hopefully like they're looking for a new home so I'm hoping there's going to be a lot of hope into this. Now, what I don't believe is that when these people who work at Smosh saying, oh, hey, it's not the end, in what way? Because if, as I see it, not the end means that they're going to find a new home with a new partner to go ahead from and just continue as they've been doing. But if they can't find a new partner, then that means it is truly, it really do looks like it could be the end of Smosh. Now, when I see the people who work at Smosh say that these, this guy is starting this channel, this guy is starting that channel, all of that, the thing is, is that that's not the same. Smosh is supposed to be a group of people together, it is. And when you're outside of that group, like for instance Anthony or whoever works at um, Smosh Games, if it's just themselves, then that means it's, its own, is their own YouTube channel, and it's just basically not the same. So I don't. Look, I'm just hoping that Smosh can find a new place because Smosh means a lot to me. I've been watching them since I was about 13 or 12. They make me laugh every single time and I don't want them to go. So we'll see how this all turns out. Many people are saying they're surprised or they're not surprised. Well, if you're a true Smosh fan that gets happy while I was watching these videos, you wouldn't say stuff like that. You're not a fan if you say stuff like that because that's looking at the side of basically you do not care about Smosh whatsoever you're getting all negative about it and you're not having a negative and positive side to it so please rethink it I don't usually talk about serious stuff like this so much like this most of the time I have to refilm stuff like this but for Smosh because I've parried them I've done this I've done that it means a lot to me so, yeah. So quickly, I want to update you on some stuff. At the moment, we're working on Spyro documentary. Yay! It won't be, you know, as high quality. It won't be as as before. It'll be something like the previous Crash Bandicoot documentary that we did. Um, not just that, but I'm also working on Christmas videos, slowly, so far. Still need to try and get back into the action of the end of the year video, but apart from that, I guess we're going good, we have to see, like, look, I have been playing um, this game for some time, I've been trying to get it done, so it has been eating up my time, it has. So finally, I just want to talk about Battlefield 5. Now, I don't have Battlefield 5 at the moment, but I do plan to get it in the near future or put it on my Christmas list. <laughs> So, um, I've, got, I've got Battlefield 1, I have, not gonna lie, Battlefield 1 and Battlefield 5, the graphics look good, um, I did play the Battlefield 5 beta, I cancelled my pre-order for Battlefield 5, not because, oh hey, I don't like it, or I'm a, I'm a sensible little prick or something, no, it's because I needed the money for other stuff I did, so I do plan to get it again, 
But Mansell Field 5 has got different release dates if you don't know. So the first one was EA Access, which was from what I see from everyone else, November 8th. And the origin stuff is e, um, if November 9th, and then November 15th for the deluxe editions, and then for the standard editions is November 20th. So did they do this for Battlefront 2? I cannot remember. I was too young and too stupid, but yeah. I do plan to get it, I do want to play it, even though playing Battlefield 1, the war stories are hard, you have to die multiple times to actually get it Why? but I will say this though, this game is better than the one that I played before, which I think it was Battlefield 3, as the controls are better, that you don't have to die again and again and again to get it right, if you die here basically means you just die. You do so again. I do feel like this Frostbite engine of how the graphics look at the moment are better to the stuff that that I've seen in previous Battlefield games. Not gonna lie though, Battlefield Hardline looks also good. By the way, to mention that most of the Battlefield games, apart from Battlefield 5, are really cheap. Anyway, I'm gonna end today. I am so yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do, I just want to let you know that I want to say that there are no videos on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesdays and Sundays, but there will be on Thursdays to Saturdays. I am apologizing for that. I am sorry for that. It's just this other side, other stuff that I have to work on. Anyway, peace guys. See ya.